Hey guys, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. I am doing a Habe Labe haul with you. Now, this past week I went shopping for some fall things at Walmart and I found what I was looking for. If you didn't see that video, I will link to it up here uh, or right here. And uh, so you can check that out. So I cannot go shopping and not go by Habe Labe. I didn't need anything. I really didn't need anything because the purpose of my shopping trip was to go find um, some salt box houses from Walmart and I found those. Yay! My little primitive country heart is just so happy, happy, happy. Anyway, so I, um, you know, drove by uh, Hobby Lobby and it was pulling me into the parking lot, you know, because it's like, don't you, don't you ignore me. Come in here. And so anyway, I'm just kidding, guys. Um, I stopped in there just to get, you know, just to check it out just to see. And actually, I was thinking about getting um, a poster board and walked off, got other stuff and forgot my poster board, but that's okay. I really didn't need it, but it was just a thought. Anyway, so I want to share with you some of the things that I found. I'm here in my craft room because the lighting, my husband is awesome. He has my lighting. It's much better in here. This room is very lit. And so I apologize if my... Um, crafting stuff. Um, <laughs> it bothers you, but anyway, I'm a craft junkie and I have a lot of junk, I guess. I'm a true craft junkie. Anyway, so I found some things that I just couldn't live without. So let me show you what I got to take home with me. Okay, so these... These are little storage boxes and they're in the black and white Buffalo check and they were regularly $4.99. So uh, these are the Paper Studio, which is a Hobby Lobby brand. And so uh, the reason that I bought them is because I can decorate with them. You know, my fall and my Christmas, I incorporate the Buffalo check. And so I'm going to decorate with them. So I got them while I saw them. And so you should too, because, you know, you can do a lot of different things. You can use it as a stand or a little um, shelf or something like that. So they had two sizes at the store I was at. This is a smaller one. It's like mini photo boxes, but I ain't gonna use it for no photos. I'm gonna use it for some decorating. Anyway, this size was $2.49 and uh, this one was $4.99. So half off would be, you know, um, $2.50 and then $1.25. So that's a pretty good price. That's almost Dollar Tree stuff. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, and it's good sturdy boxes. So I got a couple of those. And then uh, in the Christmas section, I was really disappointed because somebody, somebody came and bought up all the Buffalo Check ribbon. <sighs> hmm. That was not okay. But I found one and I didn't have this, um, this size. This is, uh, what, four inch, four, four inch by 30 feet. And I guess no one bought it because it was, the plastic was taken off from around it. But that don't bother me. Thank you for leaving me one lonely little, uh, r ribbon roll. Anyway, so I didn't have this. And so I was going to buy some Buffalo check ribbon because, you know, with the season, you get, it gets very, very popular. Well, somebody done bought it all up. Shame on them. I got some of these ribbon rolls. I'm a ribbon addict. I am. I have a problem with ribbon. Cute ribbon. Uh, I get asked all the time in uh, my wreaths uh, videos, uh, what kind of ribbon do I use? Only wired ribbon only wired ribbon. I have learned the hard way. I have bought some non-wired ribbon and was using that when I first started doing my wreaths and other decor. It doesn't hold its shape. And so only wired ribbon. And so what I, this is, was in the Christmas section. It's, um, 30 feet. This is one and a half inch. And uh, I'm going to use this, you know, in some of my Christmas decor, but it doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas because you can use this any, any time through the year, because this is just country. This is country to me. 
I got this enamel pitcher and um, I don't know, it just kind of, it was the only one in that little area that I was, uh, you know, aisle I was on. It was $13.99 and then it, all of this stuff is 40% off. This is uh, part of the Robert Stanley collection. I got a lot of his stuff last year. Uh, I don't know if he's exclusive to Hobby Lobby or this Hobby Lobby sells a lot of his stuff. Anyway, but this is going to look really pretty all year in my home because I'm going to stick different flowers in it for the season. <sighs> and it makes sound because it's hollow <laughs> and it's 10. So uh, anyway, this is cute. <laughs> This was in the fall section too. This is a little house that's going to look so cute in my little home. Uh, anyway, this is a galvanized little house and it, it's a tea light candle holder thing, but I may not use it for that. I just thought that it was pretty. Uh, it was regularly $9.99, so 40% off of that because this was in the fall section. When I first started my channel, uh, I was going by uh, Craft Junkie 2. So if you watch my very, very, very first videos, I did cards because I had got a Cricut and I was doing a lot of cards. Anyway, Hobby Lobby has taken out the hard work um, when it comes to cards. So they had all of their paper studio stuff on sale so they have i bought some of these cards and envelopes there's um 50 pack so there's 50 cards and 50 envelopes in there for five bucks because they were 9.99 and then they're on sale for uh five dollars anyway when i need a card i just pull out this card they also have some others that have patterns and different sayings and uh, you know just whatever your style is they have the box cards anyway and so if i want to quickly decorate a card i have the card and the envelope and then all i need to do is pull out my scrapbooking stuff uh, or my card maker making stuff and just create a cute little card. This was the Paper Studio 2 and I am such a, you know, sucker for this cute little stuff. Uh, you know, in one of my Dollar Tree hauls, I had mentioned that I was going to be doing some of those popular stamped books that are popular that are going around Pinterest and, you know, here on YouTube. Anyway, so I got the alphabet and of course I had to uh, find some that have cute little letters because we can't have no ugly letters. Mm -mm. No, 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 no ugly letters. Anyway, or just plain Jane, I guess I should say. Not ugly, just plain Jane. Anyway, so I got these. This is the uppercase and this is the lowercase. And uh, anyway, they were all on sale because this is, um, anyway, they, everything was on sale. And then I got a few of these little pocket crosses um, just because they were on sale and they're just really, really cute. They're little spongy crosses and uh, just something. I like to have things like this in my stash when I need to give a little gift or, you know, someone needs a little bit of encouragement. You know, I just put a little, um, a little care package together. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate or anything, but just to let them know that I'm thinking about them. So I found these and I thought that they would be great to put in my stash. I never go to Hobby Lobby and not use my 40% off coupon coupon because it's a waste because they have a 40% off coupon available every time. So I finally found, or not finally, I don't want to say it like that. I got something that I could use my coupon on. So I'm going to try this gloss varnish. You know, I varnish all of my painted projects. And so... I have this Delta Creative uh, gloss varnish that I use, and I shared that with y'all in my videos. Well, anyway, I guess they were out of it, so this is the only one that they had. It is, uh, I guess it's by Hobby Lobby, because it, it says 2017 Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to use it, and I'm going to see if I like it. I hope I like it. I hope I like this Hobby Lobby. And then I just picked up some metallics paint um, because I had done a project that I'm going to be uploading uh, later this week that I needed some silver paint and my silver paint was 
all dried up and I had to throw, I didn't have much left. So since I was there, see, so I did, you know, it was worth a trip to Hobby Lobby because I needed to get some more silver paint. And they had all of their single sheet scrapbook paper on sale. So I picked up a variety of papers. Um, all of it is, the majority is going to be going for my rustic pumpkins that I am creating um, for the gift shop that I usually sell my things in. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate your support of my channel and all of your sweet and kind comments. All right, we'll talk to you soon and God bless.